boys and girls, my name is Hofsti and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we managed to get back up on our feet uh, in the episode before we lost half our colony and now we are back up at four um, duplicants like we were before. But we have to still be a bit careful with, uh, with calories. Uh, and as this is a, a quite cold planet, um, we need to see uh, how we can, we can deal with that. Because temperatures in here are not too warm. And uh, seeing... The, the water that we have here that is 46 um, degree warm in here we have then air that's just above the freezing point and uh, ideally uh, we would want to have a setup where we can get a bit more warmer air out of this system and into our base. So, currently one of the uh, issues, among other, that we have with this system is that we constantly run out of, uh, of power to run it um, which might be because we are not using enough uh, uh, oxygen uh, in order to produce enough hydrogen for it to run uh, but then we also want to, to isolate the whole thing and um, yeah it might also be a good idea to, uh, to have isolated gas pipes uh, I think that's something we have to research first, actually. Yeah, they are down here. Radiant pipe. Oh, that. Ah, there, there is the isolated pipe. That's that's what we want. And we also have now a cook. And cooking our raw food should give us a bit more uh, um, more calories. So I am hoping that with the measure of heating the farm area on on both sides, and then uh, cooking the stuff, um, that will actually. Um, help us enough with the calories so that we can stay on top of things um, and so that we will not starve our duplicates Maybe let's see if we if we can get this in solution in here. I know we or at least I think we do not have um, Anyone that's uh, particularly skilled in uh, in building, we have to uh, prioritize uh, other skills like uh, researching and, and cooking. So I would expect eventually we will get there if we can bring up the the calorie. Um, that we produce and keep it sustainable uh, so that uh, we can actually think about adding 
one more duplicate. But I think currently it's it's still too much uh, fluctuating, and I do not want to to uh, uh, push it down or, or let it drop too far, um, because then we run the real risk that uh, uh, our duplicates get hungry and we do not have any measures uh, to, to counteract that um, which of course is, is not a good thing so maybe also a thing that could help us here with, uh, with, the, with the power would be conductive wiring so that we can basically not only hook up the, this minimal setup but uh, uh, everything. But that's just another research we will have to do. Down here we have quite a bit uh, a high concentration on the carbon dioxide. Actually, we will have to do something about that. That's that's not good. Also, here on this side where we have uh, our coal generator, um, how's the temperature? That one does not really heat up that much. So that is definitely a, a plus on uh, on this world. Um, and I can see they have uh, done a bit of work here on this side. And they will do more. And once uh, the, the research is, is done there, uh, not half done at the moment, we then can also uh, replace the, the piping in the hope that this will bring us one step further. But I think first the research has to be completed. All right then, uh, the research is done, um, and also here on this side, they managed to, uh, to complete that part. Um, do we have? Yes, we have an ultra sensor. Here. so that we can control these pumps to only run when there is enough pressure and we can also then replace this all with isolated pipes at least until we are here in the base because once we are in the base it does no longer matter if uh, the air in the pipes loses the heat on the way to the vent or only afterwards and by the looks of it, our calories are pretty stable. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet because uh, in the beginning we had quite a bit of uh, meat. And meat is, uh, at least currently, not something that we produce reliably. It's more like, oh, we get something out of the printing pot that uh, we can uh, fabricate into our dinner. Uh, but it's not like uh, our hatch farm is uh, that powerful 
then we could think about uh, uh, going about slaughtering them because uh, we have them mainly uh, for our coal supply which is more or less stable it it fluctuates a bit uh, but on the whole it's okay I think then I saw yeah up here there we have uh, something else which is a gold volcano um, iron volcano would be better um, but we will take what we get and basically uh, we can use gold for all the things where we uh, where we require metal um, but of course uh, we cannot use uh, it when we need steel for that we still require um, iron right so yep yeah, let's let's build that part as uh, as well and uh, the research for the conductive wire is already on the way and by the looks of it uh, double research so uh, we should see some results in the near future um, in the meantime we can say okay uh, please start in here finishing that part and you can see we are still running on the uh, hamster wheel here uh, to uh, to supply the, the power there um, not sure why we are using that one there if we have the coal generator but maybe they just like to run around a bit to uh, to keep warm because after all 10 degrees indoor it's not that cozy temperature i i will agree with you there um but I think uh, it's it's better to only have 10 degrees than uh, to to have 40 or even more, uh, which is also a possibility on some asteroids. Now, now you see uh, we have gone gone down below 50 thousand calories or kilocalories so there is a, a good reason to be a bit uh, um, a bit restrictive with uh, adding adding duplicants um, so that we at least can move this colony forward in a more sustainable manner not just pumping in duplicates and uh, letting them die thinking of that that might actually be a, an interesting way to to play the game uh, basically taking every duplicate uh, not caring about food at all um, and uh, see where we get i would assume uh, that the uh, the main issue would probably not that you don't have uh, uh, the labor force that you need but because they eventually would starve to death you basically cannot uh, progress them uh, through through the jobs unless you 
get already one with uh, with the preset uh, uh, skill, and even those ones uh, you would not keep for very long because when they get hungry, their stored uh, energy goes down and eventually they will starve. They're doing the work there, mainly on the pipe, copper is not delivered, we have it lying here, but yes, all in their own time. Coal is going down a bit. As we as we see more hatches uh, populate our two farms there, uh, that should be okay. What I am a bit worried is that uh, maybe one generator is not enough for what we need because uh, basically we need heating and uh, these. They, they, they take quite a bit of, uh, of energy. I think in the l next episode we want to think about how uh, we can use this to our advantage. Thinking about uh, the usual way is uh, that you have uh, a steam turbine uh, to cool down the, uh, the metal uh, enough. But I'm wondering, being in such a cold climate, uh, if it might be better to not just to not cool it uh, down here on the outside but basically bringing it in and use it as a, as a kind of, a, of a heat source. Um, right. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. If you like doing that, we will oblige. Here we have part of the wiring um, done, which means that this pump now is disabled by the grid until we can set up um, the, the sensor properly. Uh, and now we are even below 40,000 calories. We have to be uh, careful. Ladder here on that side, I intend mainly uh, to have a, a, a gap of, of gas between the, uh, the the stone here. So uh, as a, as an additional isolator, but also so I can get to uh, this wall from the from the other side. Right, then I think we will wait for that next uh, that next uh, research to to finish, uh, uh, so that we can uh, really deal properly with the thing here on that side.
the isolated pipe is now almost done only this this metal piece in here is still missing and as you can see we also have now our conductive wire so let's see what we can do uh, we cannot yet uh, build this in here because I am still hoping that eventually uh, we can sort that out um, by using more water from there and apparently I will need a bit more copper be created we can finish the project there of course we will make this uh, a seven and the automation here also works as set it to uh, uh, 750 grams that usually is as a good Good compromise. There's just one piece missing. So I think I will let the duplicates finish uh, this one up here until the next episode. Uh, let's look what we have. Uh, Murdlev, yeah, let's, let's take them. And then next episode we will see how we can venture out to do something about this this volcano. We will see until next time. Goodbye.